Hello again Guardians, uh, I'm back with another video and I'm going to just rant about the uh, Devil's Lair Strike. I, I, I know the uh, um, the title might be giving off some bad signals, but like as I said in the previous two videos, it's literally my favourite strike. So don't come at me please, I swear, Like I, I still love the strike, but there is obviously still going to be a few things that I've deemed that are wrong with it. Honestly, like anything that you think is perfect, somebody else could say, oh, well, it's not actually perfect, this, this, and this is wrong, so. Just just, just keep that in mind, please, all right? I'm, I'm not trying to completely destroy the good hype for the game. I just, I just want to talk about Devil's Lair, because there is obviously a few things that stick out that I think we need to address. So, first things first, uh, in the Devil's Lair Strike, you're not actually fighting devils. Unless the devils back in the past could dress up as the Dusk, which is in the current time. So th think about how weird that is, right? That's that's another weird time loop for people to figure out. How the Devil's Lair got House of Dusk uh, clothing uh, from 2017 and are wearing it in 2014. Th think about that. Um, as I was saying to my mates, like, surely it can't be that hard to, like, recolor them to red. Like, even if they keep, like, most of the Dusk uh, aesthetic to them, like, just, just color them red. Boom, boom, done. Now, I think... That's not all. I think the main reason they didn't do it is because maybe they would have had the copy and paste, like, um, the, uh, different colors of Fallen. So, like, they would then have to have, like, Dusk and then, like, all these devil models just sit in the game doing nothing. Now, to be fair, in that, um, Outbreak Perfected mission, it made sense why they were still wearing Dusk stuff because they recently split from Devil or split from Dusk and, uh, so on so forth. But in this, like, this is just straight up like a time capsule we're going back in time to look at what it was like uh, during the uh, house of devils era on earth you know but other than that uh, there is a section it's the um it's the tank section of the um strike where you're against the spider tank even the spider tank itself should at least just have like a red face and then i'll be all right with that but why are there breaks L like don't get me wrong i understand for um I understand for the purposes of having breaks for nightfalls or something, but in the normal version, I was doing the normal version in the background gameplay, and like, they're still there. <laughs> Why do breaks now all of a sudden exist? Like, are we just gonna put them into the timeline now in history? Like, oh, it didn't actually happen during the uh, House of Salvation's forming. No, it actually happened back in 2014 when the Devils were doing thing. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at the background gameplay and I'm just killing myself over and over. It's kind of gas. Um, but yeah, moving on from that. Oh, I did mention how the music in it is from the Sepix Perfected version of the strike, but it's actually not. I'm sorry. Unless it rotates uh, through the two soundtracks, because I imagine the other soundtracks in the game somewhere anyway, for whatever reason. I just wanted to mention that, because I said that for previous videos, but like I listened to it again in the background gameplay, and I realized, oh yeah, wait, this is just the normal version. But man, it's still so good, like. And... Yeah, you know, just to reiterate, it is my favourite strike. Um, it, it's, I don't know why, it's just beating the war into nothing. I think I mentioned back in the last videos, it's because of, like, the nostalgia factor of it. Especially, like, God, I'm going to keep saying this, but in the background gameplay, I'm using No Time to Explain and Sun... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ha Hammer's Assault, there we go, we'll just say that. I'm using Hammer's Assault, bro. And I'm playing with No Time to Explain. Sure, it has that little uh, Arc Soul thing to the side. But, but let's pretend it's still me playing in Destiny 1. Right, so is there anything else I need to point out? In minor detail, the Hive kind of like... I guess they're models from Destiny 2, not Destiny 1. But like, honestly, I don't really care about that. Um, Obviously, you can't stop people from using Stasis and Thing. That's fair enough. Because like, if we were still in Destiny 1, people would still use Stasis in Devil's Lair. So that's grand. Um, Now, I know a lot of people are saying like it should have been redone like Novoda. But I prefer it this way, though, where it's telling... The story from the past but if they're going to tell the story from the past at least have like similar stuff in it and all like as i said like color them red and call them actual de well i know they actually are called devils i know the voice lines are still in it sepix they changed a little bit but i don't mind that like it, it gives a bit more uh, variety to the old strike and yeah honestly i think that's all i wanted to talk about like i thought i had like a ton more stuff to talk about but just looking at it now there's not really much else to talk about 
Like, it's just, like, ad-wise, it's very good. Like, there's actually a lot of ads for people to keep shooting at and protect things at, you know? Um, it's relative in difficulty. It's not that bad. And other than that, I hope when the Fallen Saber comes, they're doing the same thing with the Devil's Lair. Because I, I, I would rather them just bring back the strike. I know people might call that lazy, but honest laziness is, like, not changing the Fallen to actual Devils. That, that In my opinion, that's, like, the top thing that should have been done is turning them into Devils. Actually, you know what? No. The, the thing that should have been done is they should have added the variants of the strike as well. Come on, man. I want to see Siva in the game. But again, to be honest, like, adding the Siva variant of it wouldn't really... Uh, well, it would matter, obviously. But, like, I'd love to see the Siva variants. It's just a pity we can't because... Um, yeah, no, I'd say, like, they'd have to turn everything to snow. And they'd actually have to add in the splicers and all their mechanics and whatnot. And plus, right now, Bungie have only added in... Uh, like the original Destiny 1 version and I, I don't think they have much Siva assets. I say that but then I remember all the Eververse Siva assets that they could literally just pull and use from there. But again, it, it just it just comes down to like what they can get in faster and maybe they're like adding stuff in like each uh, DLC or release at a time. So right now we're in the era of like re-releasing Destiny 1 vanilla stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I say we're still in that era. It'd be cool if we could get moon strikes next, because literally the moon's, like, right there. And I wouldn't even mind if, like, they just kept it the way the moon is now and they didn't have to rejig the moon. I know it would make sense, but you know what? It is what it is. Be cool to see. I think there was red hive on the moon or something, or was it yellow or orange? Or I don't know. It's been a while since I played Destiny 1, so I'm not sure. But yeah, man. No, I'm sorry. I, I keep thinking about the SIVA version of strike. Like, even if they, like, didn't add new strikes, but they added a new variant to an old strike. Like, I think that would be pretty cool. Like, obviously, it'd be really hard for some of them. Like, the, um... What's that one on Dreaming City called again? No, not Hollow Lair. You, you know the one I'm talking about. Like, the very long one with a lot of Taken in it. Like, that one you can't really change, because that is literally just Hive and Taken. But then again, now that I think about it, if they can't... Yeah, no, they can't. They can do it with some of them. Like, maybe for, um... Actually, yeah, no, that's an idea, right? For this Devil's Lair one, add the, um... What was the house for that? It was the one that raided, like, the Black Armory and all that, right? Add them as, like, a variant to thing, and then have them, from the Scourge to Pass, be added in as, like, mini-bosses in between, or champions, you know? God, that, that'd actually be a nightmare. Don't actually do that. And then, they, like, maybe instead of Sepix, you have, like, a big fallen guy at the end. I know it wouldn't be the same, but I don't know. I'm just I'm just spitballing, even though I literally am talking about adding <laughs> two variants to the oldest strike in the game. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop there. That's all I really wanted to talk about. There probably are a few things I'm missing with this strike, so um, if you guys want to let me know, obviously let me know below. But other than that, if you guys liked the video, obviously like it. Dislike if you didn't like it. Comment if you want, subscribe if you want, and hit the bell if you do so desire. Hopefully I'll be making more Destiny ranty videos, and even like an Iron Banner montage, because Iron Banner's next week. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.